Students are required to wear a grey jumper with the Academy logo on, a blue blazer with the Academy logo on, boys are required to wear a white shirt, uh, girls can wear a shirt or a white blouse, everybody must wear a tie and the colour of the tie will vary depending on what house you're allocated to. Boys are required to wear dark grey trousers, girls have the choice of dark grey trousers or a dark grey skirt and they must wear tights underneath their skirt. We wear a uniform so that everybody looks the same. We know that we're from Fullwood Academy. We're proud that we come to Fullwood Academy. It also shows respect for ourselves, respect for others, and it ensures that people are focused on the lessons as opposed to what somebody might be wearing. The school lunches are very good. They're freshly made on site every single day. The menus are very varied, um, something different every day. There's healthy options for people and we cater for all cultures. We operate a cashless system at the Academy. Students are required to pay electronically and parents have the option of using parent pay to top up accounts online or students can top up their accounts within the school. We open our doors at 8.25 each day for a breakfast club. Our buses tend to arrive shortly after this time and again students can access breakfast if they wish to. All students must be on site by 8.45 each day. Tutor time will run for 20 minutes and then we'll be straight into lessons. We have five lessons each day, break time, lunch time and we finish at three o'clock. We liaise very closely with primary schools who bring the year six students in throughout the year so that they can get a feel for academy life. Additionally, parents can call school and arrange an appointment to come in and look around the building and meet some of the staff. This ensures for a smooth transition from year six to year seven. To apply for a place at Fullwood Academy, go to the local authority website and look for the admissions section. Home learning is set by your child's class teacher. It's set on OneNote and is set electronically. At Key Stage 3, students will be given 30 minutes in English, Maths and Science each week and other subjects will be given on a rotor that we will publish at the start of each year. At Key Stage 4, this increases significantly and varies at different points of the year. And again, we will publish a rotor to all families so that they are aware of the schedule. If your child forgets a sports kit, they'll be offered a clean kit by the PE department which is washed on a daily basis. The behaviour and standards at this academy are exactly where they need to be to ensure that every single student in every single year group, every single day, can make as much learning and progress as possible. The expectations are high and are followed through by our staff on a daily basis. Where there isn't any issue with those expectations not being met, we work with our students and our staff to restore them in a restorative manner. This ensures that this academy is a fantastic place to be day to day, not just academically, but socially. Ofsted's recent visit clearly shows to us that we're making some great progress. Um, this can be borne out by the results in the school and especially in the examinations. Uh, there's a sense of, of, of academic rigour and real purpose amongst the students. Mm -hmm.